Okay, this patient asks, would you recommend NSPFA for a toxic nodule that did not respond to RFA treatment? So that's an interesting treat that's an interesting question because my two toxic nodules which I had were 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 very big. And so historically that would mean that they ought to be treated twice no matter what. Mm-hmm. And so with either RFA and so we treated ours twice with PFA and have seen their thyroid function improve and their nodules shrink even further. So we're, we're, we're at this time optimistic that it should continue to improve for these patients, but we're not, we're not exactly confident enough, at least from my standpoint, that that's going to be the way to go for big toxic nodules. I know some other doctors have had a lot of success with smaller ones, mm-hmm. which is what we're seeing with RFA. So for me, I'm going to keep doing the smaller ones using RFA. The big ones, they may just need to be another another treatment with, with. Yeah, those toxic nodules across the board, the bigger they are, the harder they are to treat. Yep. And-